Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today's Thursday is spring break. We're getting ready to do our weekend of fun spring activities. Um, every spring break, we do fun things with the girls, and it, all those things start tomorrow. Ellie just had a bath. <laughs> she had a bath, and then she had a really long nap because... <laughs> She's still tired. She's still okay. tired. She's still tired. This is her in my arms. This is her napping in my arms. And look, you guys, I put diamonds on her collar. Remember I did a haul of all the things we bought at the pet store yesterday? Well, I bought her this little pink cat collar and I put diamonds on it. I love it. I hate she the bell. loves it. I love the bell. I hate the bell. The bell doesn't even actually ring. That's, yes, it does. It doesn't. I came downstairs this morning and all I could hear was the bell. Oh, I love the bell. But anyway, before today's video starts, I wanted to tell you guys really quickly about what happened last night. So last night I was reading before I went to bed and Ellie was sleeping. She loves to sleep at night. She doesn't sleep very often during the day, but she sleeps at night and she sleeps really well. <laughs> but for some strange reason, last night she woke up while I was reading and she was laying beside me, kind of tucked into me like this. And you know that look that dogs have when they love you, especially puppies? They stare. They Maybe. gaze into your eyes. Well, she was doing that to me last night and just gazing at me. And she put her paw up and touched my face. And she was being so gentle and so sweet. And I was, like, so in love with her. And I was, we were just playing back and forth. And I was putting my face in her face. And she was biting my face. And she was, like, biting, grabbing onto my nose with her teeth and grabbing onto my face. But she was so gentle. Like, so, so gentle. And it was just like the best feeling. She was all cuddled up to me and she was just like, we were just spending like undivided attention together and it just was so amazing. So she had my nose in her teeth and she was gazing right into my eyes and she was just holding onto my nose so gently. But then I decided to like make a, a cry sound. I pretended to cry when she had my nose in her teeth just to see what she would do. It was actually insane. So she had my nose, I went, just the tiniest sound and she opened her mouth as fast as she could and she laid there and she was so still and she just stared into my eyes to make sure that I was okay. Like she was so loving and so gentle and so sweet with me and so worried that she was hurting me. I just love her. So I wanted to say to those people, there's a couple of you guys out there that are saying like that you're thinking about getting dogs or that you're hoping to get a dog, get the dog. Like I feel like when we lose a dog, and we say, I'm never getting another dog, it's because we're remembering all the hard parts at the end. The end of a dog's journey sometimes is so difficult with like having to carry them everywhere because they're not walking as well and having to worry about them so much. And it just seems like we forget all the amazing that a baby and a puppy can bring into your life. Like it has been a, such an incredible opportunity to own Ellie. And I don't even like to say own her because it doesn't feel like own. I think it's been such an incredible opportunity to love Ellie. But anyway, this vlog is not about Ellie, so let's get moving. I just wanted to show you guys these um, dog toys. I've been making more of them. I'm obsessed with them. I love making them. So I made these ones. So like they're tug toys with a handle. I think this handle's a bit big. I want to make it a little bit smaller so it feels more comfortable in my hand. But basically the dog can pull it on one end and you can pull on the other end. And like I said, these things are so super stretchy. Let's see if I can get you guys to see here wait I'll here. pull it okay see how stretchy it is they're so fun in fact to the point that Daisy tries to steal these all the time but I'm making them for a friend and hopefully they work for their dogs so since yesterday I made these two both with handles and then today I started this pink and gray one so you guys know that this is where Sophie's been playing all week all week with her like she's got She's got it all set up and it's all doing really well. The problem is, is that every time she comes back, these fake horses keep pooping on the table. So she has to clean it. Okay, Sylvia, you gotta get that cleaned up. You have to clean that, they're yours. So essentially, we have the baby chicks. We have six baby chicks and we have them in this container here. Well, I had to put that up. <laughs> unfortunately, they know how to fly a little and they sit on the edge of this thing and they poop into her, no, her paddocks. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, they jump on the, on the, on the water, water. and yeah. then they jump up here. And yeah, they and they love like it. They just sit there. So today is the day. Today is the day the baby chicks are being evicted. We do have 24 more eggs in the incubator. Um, last time I hatched eggs, we had like 18 or something in there, and we didn't have a very good hatch rate because of my my 
my little thing here, I forget what it's called, um, the battery was going crazy and I didn't realize till it was too late. I got and the humidity was too high. This time I have the humidity going really well. The only thing that can happen with this this batch of eggs is I don't know how the people that I bought them from, how they stored them. So if there's like any human error on her side. But so far we've been doing really well with these eggs. I love this thing. So Sophie got one of these little baby etch and sketches. Where'd you get it? At the dollar store. The dollar store and she loves it. <gasps> Toby! All right, so one thing that we noticed about all of our baby chicks, they're Easter eggers. They all came out of like blue or green eggs. This is and one of the roosters. They, yeah, this is the rooster, but they all are, see the little tuft on the top of their head there? They are all, oh. Uh, they have a poofy head. <laughs> what, are, the, what breed was the rooster? They all came from the, mm -hmm. Oh, I always forget this name. You said it. Peacock. No. Um, oh, man. I can't remember. But they all came from this one rooster. They all have that puff on the top of their head. They're not silkies. They're... I oh. just cracked my ankle. Anyways, they're all going to look... I went like that. They're all going to look a little like crazy. That. Okay, so um, uh, commencing now is Operation Get the Baby Chicks Out of Our Kitchen. You guys remember That's when we got there, this right? huge box... Um, uh, at the end of fall last year, we got this huge giant, oh, excuse me, giant box. And Sam has it all planned out so that we can make it into a chicken brooder. My dream would to be to fill this whole entire box up. With chickens? With chickens. Would it be yours, baby chicks? <laughs> Sophie sold a lot of chickens last year. She sold baby chicks. And she sold... And she sold actual chickens, big chickens, for like 30 bucks a chicken. So chickens, you can make money, especially when you're on a farm, you can make money selling chicks and chickens. So guess what I spent that money on? Dollar store? Yep. <laughs> but she saved some to you guys. Uh, a side business that Sophie likes to do. She likes to do chickens. I like to do chickens too, so it works. Sophie's going to put all these shavings, shavings in here. Bag? Yeah. And I think it's warm enough. I'll show you what else we got. I showed it to you in another video. I didn't show you what it was or what we were going to do with it. But I'm great at this, y'all. We are going to set this up for all the baby chicks that we get this spring. Because I have another batch that I'm going to try and hatch after the ones that are in the incubator now. So. This is heavy. Wow. All right. So. Also, in here, we have a little roost that Sam made for them. And these chickens are going to really love having a roost. So, wow, that's too many shavings, I think, so. Well, can't go back now. Uh-oh, can't go back now. You have to put those bricks on top of the shavings. Well, wow, that's way too many shavings. <laughs> what are we going to do? Well, because there's still the spot in the back. Sam, we need help. See those bricks that we're gonna put the food and the water on? You Maybe put it all the way at the back. I think we put too much. Do you think baby chickens could could get? I mean, this is like a good 12 inches of of shavings. They can lay their eggs. And it looks them. bigger than we thought. So this little broom and dustpan that I can use for my room. So we can't keep this many. Like this is 17,000 pounds of shavings in here, and it's not gonna the work. Horses would love that. So, 17 million yeah, Ugh. so we're taking some shavings out. Okay, that is a lot better. We still have quite a bit at the back, but hopefully that will help them get up on the roost. But actually, not yet. We got to finish setting it up. Okay, so this is it. My back is breaking, but this is going to be worth it. I'm excited to have like such a big, huge brooder. Okay, so this is the thing that Sam ordered me a few weeks ago that I was really excited about. This is what we want to use instead of a heat lamp. The reason I like them inside is because I don't really want to use a heat lamp, out, heat lamp outside. The heat lamp that we have inside isn't as hot as the one that we use out for outside in the winter. I don't know, where should I put it? I think uh, it's going to have to go over here. And it's going to have to be higher. So to adjust this, you just push this button in, oops, and pull the legs down a bit, and it makes it higher. And it should be just above the chicken's height so they can climb under there.
chicken time? It's chicken time. Go get the chickens. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit nervous about this because you have to continue to watch them. Like you have to sit and watch the chickens to make sure one, that they can all fit under here. And as they grow, you have to heighten it. And how much heat they get is determined by how high this thing is. Whoa. So I don't think that's high enough. I think I need to put it way up. I also don't know for sure if this is warm enough for winter, but I think that it is. Also, I have to take this little knob off here. That's what lets the water out. They all just fit. All right, we have a basket of, a bucket of chickens. Polish, these are Polish. Oh my gosh, we figured out the Polish name. Polish crosses. These are Polish Easter egg crosses. we have to stay out here for as long as we can to make sure that the thing heats up to make sure that they can fit under there and to make sure that they can get food and water no more pooping on her schlike so i'm just waiting to see if this thing i'm gonna look up i'm gonna look up some things about this thing because i don't know it's not hot yet and it's literally been turned on for like five minutes and it's not even heating up at all oh maybe i feel a little bit of heat coming um they aren't gonna be able to reach the perch for a little while Apparently, this is way safer and way better and than a heating lamp. Go under. Go under. I am not a lover of black chickens. Not because I'm prejudiced about black chickens, but I love... There's so many chickens with so many amazing colors. And I like to have a variety. I definitely like to have some black chickens, just not all my chickens be black. We're just going to stay out here and wait and make sure that this thing heats up for them. Oh, I smell it. Is that what that smell is? You smell it? Yeah, I smell it. Feel it And now. then we're going to make sure that they go underneath it. Feel it now, Mom. And too bad it wasn't a nicer color. Oh. Is it warm now? It's barely warming. It's barely warm. I just cracked my ankle. If you use one of these, please comment below and let me know what you think. If it's better, if it's not better, I have a really nice warm heat lamp that I will use. <laughs> if I have to. It has a big poof standing yeah, up. Yeah, look at his little fancy hair do. Looks like my hair. Look at how cute his hair is. Is it white? It's gray. He's like, don't turn me upside down. I'll help, do help, they're holding me. And they can roost. <laughs> fast okay so you guys are probably thinking like holy heck laura these chickens are going to be big soon and they're going to jump right out of this thing we have a plan for that <laughs> why am i so weak and stuff? all right so basically that's it you guys and when we need to move it it just slides back and forth right well i like the lid it keeps other things out too but i mean if we had another one of those Weasels, it wouldn't keep a weasel out, that's for sure. Just eating something. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is Sam put this lid on here and this lid is stuck, so it's gonna eventually be really difficult to get our chickens, like when we wanna pick them up and stuff. You can tell that it's at the right level, is if all the chickens come out all the time and don't wanna stay under there, then it's probably too low because they're too hot. And if they're all huddled in a group under there, then it's probably not warm enough. So I think I'm gonna lower it just a tiny bit. All right, Sophie and I are worry warts. So no, it was you. All right, you Laura is a worry wart. See, this is what I mean by us being worry warts. Not we me. brought out the inside. So this <laughs> heating lamp. We brought out the in. Ooh, it's hot. This heating light is not as hot as the one that we usually use outside, but I think it'll give them some heat Watch. while they try and get used to Wait. that thing. Wait, one's missing. They're under there. Oh, good. They're I under think. there. Lift it up. I know, but it's oh, not yeah, very I warm. Know. I swear if I did that, I thought it pooped in my hand. All right, I think it's gonna work though. No, I don't wanna, I want them, I don't want them to be like so warm from this that they don't learn to go underneath that. Guys, my mom found this cow print um, dust, broom and dustpan. Sophie loves cow print. I do. It's cute, it's mine now.
Don't you know that you're beautiful?